All right, everybody, so nobody's come over to help me, so uh, I've set up a ladder. I'm gonna try to put this piece up on the ceiling, do it by myself. This is a pain in the butt. Gotta basically put one right in the middle, then go to the other side and recenter it. Check everything, make sure she's centered up. Come on, self tapper. Get in there. There we go. Yippee Kai. Doopy 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 doo. Lucky dog, lucky dog, lucky, lucky, lucky dog. Well done, we dog. One screw left. Well done. Mm. <sighs> Gotta push on these things pretty good to get them to go through there. <sighs> Come on, baby. Mm. Man, it takes a lot of pressure. Screwing upward is not one of my more favorite things to do. This tells me we definitely hit a stud. Gotta find one more of them screws with a little funky washer on it. Some of these washers are uh, little plastic things that the, the caps go on to. Some of them are uh, ripped out at the bottom from other people in the past, screwing them in too tight. These little plastic things, you can only go so much. Eh, that one might work. We'll see. Last one to put up on the ceiling. Throw a couple right in there. Getting closer. Get in your hole. Definitely mean need more screws than that. Screws, screws, need more screws. Over tighten those, but definitely want to make sure they're snugged up. Yep, needs one there. There, that's good. Once I put that trim ring up there, bada bing, bada boom, those screws are already there. Gotta take this thing and clean it so that I can paint it. I guess I can make a video on showing you guys how to remove that thing. Basically, it just takes a, I don't know, what is that, T20 maybe? But we'll get to that and we'll show you all that. All right, everybody. So a lot of people are scared of removing these things. And I'm going to show you the easy, quick, simple way to remove these. That way you can clean them up and paint them or whatever. One thing that drives me nuts, 
I can't stand when people don't paint these and they just leave them white. Just looks crappy. So let me show you a little bit here and we'll uh, show you how to get this thing out of here. So basically the easy way to get these out of here, if I can turn around and get the sun out of my eyes, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little Torx bit and you're gonna remove all four of these. So let me show you how that's done. Get the camera set up here. These actually come apart very easy and I'll show you a little trick. These have springs behind them. There's a, a little coil spring up in there. You don't want to lose any of that stuff. Don't want to lose those screws either. And that one was a little tight. Now I should be able to just lift it out of here real nice and easy. All right, everybody. So once you've got everything masked off that you don't want to paint, which for me, it's this part of the handle because that has the instructions on it. This part here, we're gonna go ahead and paint. This part here, we're gonna go ahead and paint. And obviously the uh, sticker for emergency exit, I had to mask that off. These over here, I'm not worried about. So now that it's all taped off and what I use is uh, purple power and a spray thing to uh, get it all cleaned up. Purple power seems to be a great cleaner. I've been using it for years. So let's shoot some paint on this thing and uh, get it unmasked. All right, everybody, so what I usually use for this kind of stuff is uh, Krylon Fusion. That seems to be a great stuff for spray spraying on plastic and uh, being very resistant to scratches. So I'm gonna just put a light mist on this and everything and uh, let that tack up a little bit. And then we'll go on to do the finish coat. I've seen many, many buses where they leave these white. That drives me nuts when the rest of the interior is not white. I think people are just scared of these things. Which the first time I took one apart, yeah, it was intimidating. Once you do it, that's no big deal. Make sure you're thorough and get up underneath the handles because that will show a little bit. A little bit weird on the angles that you have to shoot the paint in there to get all the color everywhere. Now the, the top side of it, not worried about that. The top side of every bus looks like crap, so we don't worry about that part. Throw another little coat on this. As you do this, if you got bright enough light, you can actually see the, the white coming through. So it kind of gives you an opportunity to recoat it if you have to. Like I say, everybody, if you want your bus to look complete, paint this thing. Looks like we've got it coated pretty good. I'm trying to look for any little light spots. Not something I really want to go back and retouch. Like I say, right here, 
I can actually see a little bit of white up under there. So let's see if we can hit the right angle. Check all these things. Missed a big spot there. All right, so that is now painted. That's the hardware for it, the four springs and the four hinges. Uh, these, it doesn't matter. You can get them all switched up and everything. They're all the same, it doesn't matter. But they do have a key in them, which lines up to a key slot right down in here. Basically, it just keeps it from wobbling around. If you didn't have that key slot in it, when you pop the top up, it would just want to lay over. So that's what the little key slots do. And as you, as you move it up and down with the spring in there, too much crap in my hands. So right there, you can see we've got the spring in it. So we'll let this dry for a little while. And then we can go back out and reinstall it in the bus. If you get over anxious like me and you're peeling tape when everything's still wet, which actually I really like to do, I never like to let my paint dry with uh, masking tape. Because when you pull the masking tape, it can leave a hard edge. Bump the side. Whereas if you can pull the tape before it actually dries, you're gonna end up with a lot nicer finish. And there we have the finished product. All the emergency exit stuff. That'll keep the bus inspectors happy to ha still be able to see all that visibly, but the rest of it is all blacked out. And once that's up in the bus, that'll look way better than leaving it dingy white. Yep. All right, so we'll get all this stuff all cleaned up and everything and then head out to the bus and reinstall. Here's another little digger tip. These are the little plastic caps that go on top of screws. They were originally white. Put those on some masking tape, flipped around backwards. Where they don't blow away on you. There's a little tip. We've got the AC cover all uh, glued up and everything, so let's see if we can stick it back up in this hole. So I tend to make my stuff fit a little bit tight, but it'll get up in here. Have all my screws ready. These are not typically screws you want to really torque down real tight. Basically, you just screw them in until they stop. Yeah, sometimes finding the hole is easier said than done. Now, if you notice these things, uh, these have the little 
plastic things on them. I've got some big fat caps that I paint to put on there. All right, now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to reassemble this thing. It's, it's actually pretty simple. You've got four springs. Like I say, these are key. So you have to figure out which way the key is. So now these are ready to slip this back up in the hole, mount these four screws, and that will be back in. It is a little bit tricky getting it up in there because these will just fall right out. So you kind of have to use a couple, yeah, you know, you use your third hand. Now we'll flip this around. Try and do this in a way that those little hinge pieces don't fall out. This takes a Torx bit. I want to say that's like a T25, I'm not sure. Now these are a shoulder bolt, so you want to make sure that the screw goes through the way it should. You may have to fight these springs just a little bit getting it up in there, but it's not that hard. Now see that one did not, the shoulder did not go through the screw because it's the last screw. There we go. Got my torque setting set down on my screw gun, that way I don't over torque those. So that is now in, should be able to just pull down, all done. Now all I gotta do is do the trim ring. And there we go, trim rings back up, everything's all painted. So it's looking pretty good now. So we've got the ceiling up there, got the trim ring and the emergency hatch all painted, have the AC cover up and mounted. I did paint the uh, little caps that go on those, so we'll get those stuck on there here in a little bit. And also I painted the little caps for all these little screws up in here. So like I say, once the paint dries, we'll get that stuff knocked out. So let's get on to something else. Not sure what I'm going to do next. And hey YouTubers, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button, maybe even that little ding ding bell thing, that way you get updated and you know what's going on right after I do it. So uh, tune in, there's more to come. The party starts here.